Hello everybody, my name is Graham Owen, and you are watching The Political Vigilante. Woo! That took a while to jump up up there. You're making Gotham great again, ladies and gentlemen. So we've been talking a lot about kind of unforeseen consequences of this pandemic. I've talked about how they've had to destroy crops on this show. I've talked about how, at least in California, they went to, because uh, California has a big agriculture business, to the farmers that were having to destroy crops and actually connecting them with food banks and giving them some federal tax breaks and some uh, state money as well. So rather than wasting food, so they, the agriculture business that lost 50% of its demand overnight, and that's California, that's probably pretty nationwide, right? All the restaurants got shut down. So a lot of the farms had deals with all these restaurants and big restaurant chains, and they lost all this business overnight, right? And so they were getting, we saw videos of them destroying food, right? Which is horrifying. Well, there's people living on the streets. And then what also happened, so farmers lost 50% of the demand overnight. Food banks had a 73% increase in demand for food because all these people got unemployed and needed money, needed food. They didn't have money to buy food. So they figured out a way to put that together, at least in the state of California and other states are doing that as well, is my understanding. But one of the unintended consequences here, and this is why why this pandemic is pulling back the curtain on how awful capitalism is. Big agriculture is horrible. I've done videos on it. We've talked about it. And here's a consequence. One of the fans of this show, Mark, he goes by Emberg33, uh, was retweeting this factory farm. Rather than freeing animals from factory farms when they were shut down, they were, are euthanized and said, they euthanized these animals. Like that, big agriculture would rather people starve than give food away. Factory farming kills animals instead of freeing them. Vegan, vegetarian. So I want to show you um, this whole Twitter feed from uh, Nicole. So uh, I just wanted to show everybody this. Um, and I'll read it for you because I know the copy is small, but it says, Nicole Alexander Fisher, uh, one of the disgusting consequences of factory farming, because pigs are pumped with so many hormones to grow incredibly fast, they can only be packed into farms for so long. And because processing plants are closed, they must be euthanized instead. Farmers will have to euthanize millions of pigs as meat plants remain closed with meat packing plants closed nationwide. Hog farmers in the U.S. now face a tragic reality. They need to euthanize millions of pigs with nowhere to go. <laughs> we have such a broken system. I, I, I'm a vegetarian. I didn't even know that. It's another reason to be a vegetarian. It's just awful. So we pump pigs full of all these hormones, and then because there's a, there's, we cut the demand in half because of the shutdown, we got to just kill pigs? Don't give them to anybody that could use one. <laughs> I, I, I mean... Just kill them, yeah. Just kill them all. Just un fuck who? Nobody sees that the system is broken. We're destroying excess food. Eight thousand people die every day from starvation throughout the world. There's a virus. It's a really scary virus. It's called hunger. the The vaccine is called food. This is uh this is horrific, man. I mean, so oh, damn it. I, 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 I don't even know how to like deal with all this. It's, it's unbelievable, man. But and, and Emberg 33 said, pigs are my first animals that I stopped eating as a result of the Yulin festival. I was reasoning that since pigs are smarter than dogs, cats, I decided to be consistent. And I stopped eating cows months later, then a few more months chickens. It took a year. So, yeah. And no one at these big factory farms went, hey, is anyone out there need these? 
Pigs? Anybody, can anyone use them? Oh, we pump them full of, gee, it's so bad that we're pumping pigs full of hormone? Like, this is just, I'm wrong on every level. I'm just waiting on data and research to say that vegetarians don't get this disease as bad as meat eaters. I'm just, I, maybe I'm just, I'm saying that because I'm a vegetarian. I'm not a doctor. I don't know. But that's horrific that that's happening. And it shows you the problem with big factory farming. It shows you the problem with big factory farming. Again, profit, 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 profit. No thinking. Big corporate capitalist thinking has no long-term thought. Is this good for society? Is this good for the planet? Is this, is this sustainable? Is this good for our grandchildren and our great-grandchildren? Is this good for the animals? Is this good for the ecosystem? Is this good for any of these things? No, just pump them for the homeowners and get them out there and sell and sell and sell. Get everybody loving bacon. <sighs> So it's another reason to shop at local grocery stores. Don't support the big, like, don't support Whole Foods. That's Jeff Bezos owns that. It's a reason to support local family farms, small independent farms, not big agriculture. I always say this, vote with your dollars, because that's what it creates. Just... A horror show revealing how awful capitalism is and big business is compounding this pandemic because this system was set up for nothing but short-term profits and doesn't care about people, doesn't care about workers, doesn't care about the environment, doesn't care about you, doesn't care about your kids. They don't care. They don't care. And I don't begrudge the workers in that industry. I don't begrudge the workers in any industry. I get it. You need a job. It's the CEOs. It's the people that hatch this plan. It's not right. We need to, if anything this pandemic should teach us, is how to slow down and we don't need to buy. We can't do all this consumption anymore. We can't consume at this level. We can't. We can't do it. There's people living on the street in this country right now. There's people hungry right now. And we're slaughtering pigs because we pumped them full of hormones? And didn't think through, like, what happens if everything gets shut down? Whew. Thanks, Mark. Screen name, Emberg33, that supports the show. I really appreciate it. I do the show. You guys support what I do. You help me out. You send me stories. You educate me so that I can educate everybody else. That's why you're all political vigilantes and you're all making Gotham great again. Boom. Shave your knuckles for justice. Hey, everybody. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification button and the subscribe button, even if you've done it before because they're unsubscribing many of you every day. Watch the ads all the way through. If you click skip ad, I don't get paid. Also, support us at patreon.com slash Graham Elwood or rockfin.com slash Graham Elwood. Rockfin.com is a blockchain cryptocurrency platform. All my videos are on Rockfin ad free. Thanks for watching.